Sale said post game, he talked about it. He said, my command was spotty at times, but when I had to bear down, I was able to. But the trough is a deep, dark place, and they just couldn't let the Red Sox have their day. d -Row. Lauren, I, I, if I'm a Red Sox fan, I'm ecstatic about what I saw last yeah. night. I mean, he could get the heater in on right-handers. He had good feel for his changeup. I thought his slider hung in the, in the zone a little bit from time to time. But other than that, for him to come out and present himself like the old Chris Sale, and that, that's what we kind of got to get out of our minds. He's not pitching with that same velocity, but I don't think Chris Sale needs 97, 99. He was still sitting up at 95 miles an hour. That's more than plenty to drive a four-seamer in, bring back a two-seamer on a right-hander, get him to fish on something off speed down and away. So if I'm the Red Sox, I'm super pumped about what I saw from Chris Sale last night. Get Evaldi back as well, and things start to start to roll a little bit. But I want to focus on a Ray that we don't talk about much, okay? And that's Yandy Diaz. Yandy Diaz has had a really, really good first half. And I think in a team littered with guys on the IL, the Kiermeyers, Wander Franco, take you back to Brandon Lau, Manny Margot, where do they find consistent offense from this team? And Yandy Diaz has been one of those guys. So let's dive in on Yandy Diaz and see what's made him so successful. Eric Nays, researcher to the stars, came up to me. He said, you got to lock in on the hard hit rate there's no swing and miss in this guy's game, and he's doing so many things right at the plate. So pause. Bring me up his career splits, J-Mac, real quick. First board, take a look at what he's doing offensively, Yandi. 2017, 2018, this is not a guy that, look, uh, that searched for launch angle. This is a guy that hits a lot of balls on the ground. He probably, if he gave up a little bit of average, could shoot the ball out of the ballpark a lot more. But this is how he presents himself. Everybody adds value in different ways. Know thyself, know what's successful, okay? 2017, 2018, on base percentage and slug, eerily similar. 97 weighted runs created plus, 100 your, your average big leaguer. Look at two, 2022, look at the on base percentage, look at the slug. Look at the 148 weighted runs created plus. So you say, is he doing anything different at the plate? Let me see the side by side. So take a look at 2019 and then on the right hand side, 2022. Bring it back to that, please. Pause it for me. Not much different. I mean, we're splitting ha hairs here. You see guys make way more dramatic moves at the dish. Maybe he's a little tighter to the plate. Looks like the same camera angle for me. So maybe he's gotten a little tighter to the plate. Maybe he's a little bit more open now. Maybe a little bit more into his legs than a little bit more static. What has that led to? Maybe staying in his back hip a little bit more and what happens, right? Run it. Bullets all over the lot. I mean, right center, left center. This is a guy that can move the ball with backspin. Here's Nick Lodolo trying to get inside. No cheat. I'm just going to roast it to right center. Perfect piece of hitting right there, down and through. What else can you do when you're going right? Two strike hit, and two two, breaking ball. And I'm gonna get to a Chris Sale at bat last night that I would have grounded out to shortstop, not once, but four times throughout the course of that <laughs> AB. And he ended up on first base. So you got a guy who's hitting the ball as hard as he's ever hit it. He controls the strike zone like no other. So pause this real quick, this is the AB. So bring me up. The K percentage and whip percentage board. Take a look at this. Career splits, Yandy Diaz, strikeout percentage. From 2017 to 2021, punching out 16.4% of the time. That's dropped 6%. That's significant. The whip percentage, not swinging and missing nearly as much. And then bring up the board, Jay Mac, of the largest drops in whip percentage. These are the guys that are not swinging and missing nearly as much as they used to. Some pretty good hitters on this board. Yandy Diaz sits at top, minus 6.5 difference. So nobody's made the bigger jump. But add it all together, right? Strike zone discipline, hard contact, knowing thyself. I'm going to take you to an at bat in the bottom of the third last night off Chris Sale. I'm sitting there watching this game. Yandy Diaz is up. He works this count 3 0, okay? Not everybody likes to swing 3 0. Later on in my career, pause this. 
I got way more confident swinging 3-0, and it, sometimes you get grooved that cookie and you're feeling good. But there's there's a lot of guys that, hey, he's going to throw me the same thing 3-1. I don't necessarily agree with that, but that's their thinking. Yandy's not a guy that's going to swing a lot 3-0, especially at a pitch like that. Pause. So now I'm 3-1 against Chris Sale. It's a nothing-nothing game in the third. I want to be a hero. Yandy Diaz, nasty changeup, takes it. Slider that crosses the entire plate, takes it. Run those two pitches back, please, and I'll get out. How do you not swing at one of these? That's a 6-3, because that's a well-executed changeup, him thinking he's going to be aggressive. And then he presents this ball. That's got all plate. That's a grounder to third for me. So I just, guy who's really seeing the baseball well, will end it with the on-base percentage leaders. Got some of the games elite right now. So Yandy Diaz just not getting enough love in a lineup that has needed him to produce, Lauren. Is he the most jacked guy in the big leagues? He was on Men's Journal, like a whole spread. He's up there. Whoa. Starling Marte looks pretty yoked up. <laughs> There's a Tyler O'Neill. Tyler O'Neill, that's a good one. Michael Lorenzen, too. Michael Lorenzen. Robert that's a, Flores. That is a D list. <laughs> I sense. Is Robert Flores jacked up? Like on Diet I'm Dr. Need Pepper, you to bring yes. It in a B block. Uh, I am I am jacked up on Robert. Diet Dr. Pepper.